welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here happy friday it's friday again it is gorgeous here today it's supposed to be in the 90s which is crazy as soon as i am done filming today's weigh-in video i have floor time at my real estate office and then i'm heading home because we are in the midst of planting new shrubs throughout our property and I'm so excited we're loving it it's been something we've wanted to do for the last oh three years and we're just now getting around to it so we're so excited I've been getting in a ton of exercise a ton of movement I think I had 105 active minutes just yesterday afternoon with a few hours of planting so I have today and tomorrow that we'll be doing that and honestly I'm a little sore my body's a little sore from yesterday which is great that means I worked hard so with that being said, this week's been great. It's been busy, super busy. It's been a little bit stressful, but overall, it's been a great week. I had a good week eating-wise, but I'm going to tell you right now, I did not do calorie cycling, and I'm gonna tell you why after we talk about this week's workshop. So if you wanna hear how the workshop went, what we talked about, and how my weigh-in went, stay tuned. week's topic was actually about springing into summer. And it's so funny because for this last week, I've been thinking about a challenge for myself to make it through summer, like a 90 day type of a challenge. And I've been kind of rolling all these ideas around in my head. And then voila, the topic is springing into summer and making a game plan for summer. So I did decide on kind of a challenge that I wanted to do. I did talk about it over on my Facebook group. So if you're not on my Facebook group, I'll put it right there on the screen for you guys. Head on over and join us. I'm going to be doing a big 90 day challenge within my Facebook group to make it through summer, some weight loss goals, some activity goals, lots of prizes, giveaways, Zoom calls. So don't miss out. So head over and join us on Facebook. But this week's topic was thinking about how it's been. We know this year's been crazy. Things are not normal. Our complete routines have done a 360. Just life in general has completely changed for us. And it's not going to be back to the old normal anytime soon or if at all. So with summer here, we need to think about how we're going to make it through summer and develop a new game plan for the new world situation to make it through the summer months and come out losing weight, feeling better, healthier and happier. So the three tips that came from WW are excellent. And these are tips to reflect back on what you've been doing over the last few months and deciding which of those things you want to take with you into summer. So a great place to start is think about what's been working for you. And don't say nothing because something has been working for you. It may not be weight loss related. It may be non-scale victory. It may be health related, but something has been working for you over the last few months. Sit down and write that thing or those things down on a piece of paper. When we write things down, it sticks with us a lot better than if we just say them or think them. If we physically write them down, it's something that sticks with us longer and much easier. Some things to think about is what helped you in your weight loss journey? What made you feel good? Made you feel balanced? Made you feel motivated? Those are the types of things that we want to write down. And like I said, even the small things count. Non-scale victories. Did you take extra walks over the last few months because you were at home and you had a little bit more spare time on your hands? Did you see that you lost a little bit more weight because you weren't able to go out to dinner or go to the grocery store and buy all those things that prevented you maybe from losing as much in the past? But really reflect. Write down the good things that that you took away from the last few months and then take at least one of those items and write it in a separate column this is the item or items that you're going to take forward through the summer months that are going to help you continue to be successful lose weight reach your health goals and just be better mentally and physically overall number two is write down something that you would like to do this summer build up your positive vibes what is one thing that's on your bucket list for this summer that is doable that you think that you can achieve. Try asking yourself, what do you want to accomplish by the end of summer? And then write that one thing or those things down in that other column with the first item. So make sure that they're being realistic, that these are things that are doable over the next 60 to 90 days, and they are things that are going to keep you motivated and on track. Now take a look at that column 
the second column and find two things on that column that you really, really want to focus out on. Now really think about it. Think about how this plays into your why. Think about how realistic these are and really decide on two things that are going to be your focus this summer. Now when you're deciding on these things, think about your personal situation, your friends, your family, even your home space when deciding which of these two things you're really going to take a big focus on this summer. And lastly, pinpoint what is the step you can take this week to make this happen, to make this the healthiest, the best, the most active, the biggest weight loss summer so far. I think these tips are fantastic. They're realistic. They're doable. And it's just going to take a little bit of time to sit down and create those two columns and decide which couple of things that you want to focus on this summer. For me, because I've been thinking about this for a while and setting up a 90 day challenge, my big things for focus for me this summer are to continue to lose weight. I do have a weight loss goal in mind that of course I will share in my challenge group on Facebook and also my activity, continuing to get in activity throughout the summer months and not letting it slack off because it's hot outside or I just don't feel like going outside and driving somewhere or going on a walk, making sure that I'm continuing to get in my exercise and my movement because I know that not only does that make me feel better, but it definitely helps in my weight loss journey as well. So speaking of weight loss journey, let's talk about this week. So like I mentioned, my food went really well this week. I tracked everything, both in the Lose It app and the WW app, but I decided not to do calorie cycling. And the reason for that is because I'm actually going to be changing things up a bit for this summer challenge. I'm going to be still having the one day a week that I eat more calories, my points, my weeklies, and then I have a calorie goal, smart point goal for the rest of the week. So I decided to not do the calorie cycling this last week because basically I will be calorie cycling essentially throughout the entire summer. I'll be sharing all of that information on my Facebook group in that challenge as well. But that's why I chose not to pursue the calorie cycling this last week. But I did stay on track. I made good food choices, good, clean, whole, healthy food choices. I did not do jazzercise at all. And I don't have really any excuse, to be honest, to share with you guys, other than this last week was extremely busy. It was extremely busy with YouTube. It was busy with real estate. And then I've been in my yard a lot. So I feel like I've gotten in my three workouts and then some just doing yard work. Sometimes that's the workout we have to do. We have to make deal with what life throws us. And sometimes when we're super busy or we have a lot on our plate, we can't do the regular exercise that we're used to doing. But as long as we're getting in some steps and some movement, I think that is a win. So for me, I feel like I did my workouts, just not jazzercise this week. So when I stepped on the scale to round out the month of June, I lost one pound. That means that I have lost every single week in the month of June, which is so exciting. And that means for the month of June, I lost a total of 4.2 pounds pretty close to where I need to be to hit that 50 pounds lost. I did do an update on my 2020 goals. I'll link that video down below for you guys where I share with you kind of the amount that I have to lose each month in order to hit 50 pounds lost by the end of the year. I'm on track. I'm happy. I'm thrilled that I ended June during the pandemic and all the craziness with a 4.2 pound loss. So I'm incredibly proud of myself. So this week I'm going into the mentality of this summer challenge. I'm looking to have a good loss the first week of July. It's July. How crazy is that? And really start getting back into jazzercise. Our studios open up on Monday, the 29th of June, which is so incredibly exciting. We can only sign up for two classes at a per week and there can only be five people per class. So it's really hard to get into a class, but I was able to score a few slots. So I will be going back to Jazzercise. Really the beginning of July was the soonest that I could get a slot for a class. So that's going to really help keep me involved in my exercise goals because if I'm in the class sign up, I have to go or they charge you a fee if you don't show up or if you cancel due to the only five people per class rule. So that's going to help keep me on track with Jazzercise. I'm excited for this summer challenge for weight loss, for my food. I cannot wait. So from you guys, I want to hear, do you have a goal for summer? Are you going to take these tips and tricks that WW shared with us and use those to create a goal for summer? Make this summer your best 
summer yet, no matter what is going on in our lives. Make sure you head over and join my Facebook group if you want to take part in my challenge. And don't forget to hit that little subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I have a lot of people watch my videos that are not subscribed. So if you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you would take a moment and do that. It really helps out my channel. And that way you won't miss a single video, especially if you hit that little bell. Thumbs up this video if you love these weigh-ins. And down in the comments, I want to hear from you. I want to know how your week went. Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? And tell me your summer goals. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this Friday. I'm going to head across the street here to my real estate office and I'll check in with you tomorrow for a rather large grocery haul. Have a great Friday. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.